But first, this new time. Top local story, the Paw Sox sale and a meeting tonight on using some of the 195 relocation project land for a new stadium in Providence. Team's new owners are making a formal pitch this afternoon to the 195 Redevelopment Commission. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands just talked to one of the Paw Sox new owners, Larry Lucchino. She's live with the latest from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. That's right, Patrick. I just got out of a meeting with Paul Sox and Boston Red Sox owner Larry Lucchino. I met with him inside this downtown Providence building on the top floor on the 20th floor. We discussed a number of things, primarily about the Paul Sox moving here in uh, Providence. Now, some of the things that he wanted to bring up, that skepticism, people, local taxpayers, along with a state representative and city councilman Sam Zurier, are showing some skepticism to the team moving there. He said that skepticism is expected. This is coming from his experience, he says, from San Diego, helping build a ballpark there, as well as in Baltimore and, of course, the Boston Red Sox. Now, just to back up a little bit, what he is initially proposing is a $120 million plan asking for taxpayers to pay that out over the next three decades. In return, they will give back $12 million a year back into the local economy, but still many people are against that. Now, now, something else that he mentioned is that he really um, he's excited today about just ahead of this meeting and he wants to share that. Take a listen to what he had to say heading into this meeting just hours before. Take a listen. This is not just for a, a, a little ballpark that, uh, that serves the Pawtucket Red Sox or whatever the, the, the uh, designation would be. The vision is for a, a, a multi-use a baseball park that has football components of it, that has concert components to it, that has hockey components to it, that has other outdoor and civic activities connected to it. So it's going to be uh, uh, a focus of activity in downtown uh, uh, Providence that I think will uh, inevitably serve as a, as, a, uh, as, a, as a force for greater economic activity in downtown. It'll bring more people to downtown, it'll bring more economic activity to downtown, and it will be something that, uh, that will be uh, a substantial public asset to this area. And if there are, if we can convince people, as I think we, we, we should be able to do, that there are substantial public benefits to this, I think that justifies some kind of public investment in, in, in it as well. And I also asked Lucchino if him or the other nine owners, it's 10 of them total, were considering looking at any other plots of land either in the city of Providence or across Rhode Island. His response is that they're zeroed in and focused primarily and mainly on that patch of land that they'll be discussing later today. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News. Our coverage continues tonight at 5 on the Paw Sox potential move to Providence. Right now you can find more in-depth coverage online at WPRI.com, including a Providence City Councilman blasting the team's proposal for the new stadium. We'll have more tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5.